Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the finest Dawn of War, Soulstone Cast, this side of East Yorkshire. Today we've got a 1 vs 1 on Shrine of Exelon. Over in the Eldar corner, we have got Imperial, who is on the top side of the map, playing as the Imperial Guard, we have got Erin Beast. Beast is going to go for a double guardsman, set priest engine seer, and an infantry command, oh, as well as a plasma generator. Whereas the Eldar are going to go for double guardians, fleet foot research, aspect portal, and a plasma generator. Also going to go straight for those Reaper aspect stones as well. Very good against the squishy armor of the Imperial Guard. Not known for their ability to stay alive when being shot in the face. We will we'll have an infantry command being placed down here in between this strategic point and this bit of cover over yonder. Plasma generator being planted firmly in the backside of it as well. I imagine that they'll be quite on the defensive, I would say, in the early game. Eldar quite able to be aggressive in the first five minutes or so. We'll see a command squad coming out from the Imperial Guard player. We'll be able to tie up some of those Dark Reapers when they do start to play a little bit more aggressively. Payroll Guard just capturing their bits and bobs around in the base. Also going to get a Commissar as well, just to inspire Guardian and maintain morale ready. for the lads. Success. Nothing yes. too crazy though. Oh, in fact, actually, when he says that, I was expecting that the Imperial Guard player was going to be a little bit defensive in the first five minutes, but no. Commander, going to move into the, into the, the Eldar base, near. going to recruit a Priest and a Commissar, just for good measure. Probably will be focusing on slapping down some plasma generators, no doubt. Fleetfoot just been finished. Going to see an Eldar Farseer. Ow. And their Mind War will certainly do the trick against this command squad. Dark Reapers, seeing this command squad, will decide to try and fend them off. Do have some Guardians over on this side, but will be quickly beaten back. Got some regular old Guardsmen moving forward. Having a Commissar being attached to their number will provide some covering fire as this command squad stands in the middle, taking out a Bone Singer for engaging close combat with these Guardians. Farsi about to pop. Not going to go for this command squad. He's going to turn around focus on that Commissar. Getting that Mind War down and the big boomer bits will actually kill him more than straight away. Wonderful little pickup from the Farsi there. Throwing on a guard on these Dark Reapers. It does seem, yeah, they've, they've managed to kill a Commissar and a Priest in the grand scheme of things. So, wonderful uh, first open engagement from the Eldar there. Do have a Tech Priest engine here going to move down over here. Probably going to use him to tie up people in close combat. Got some grenades going off from the Guardians. Absolutely wiping out a whole smorgasbord of boys. Another grenade going off as well. Yeah, holy hell, that's uh, those grenades certainly don't agree with the guardsmen. I mean, these these that reapers haven't even been, even been touching these guardsmen all that much. It's all it's all guardian, baby. The tech priest engines here being used in a very aggressive manner, keeping the centre hole. One guardian extending himself a little bit too much. Tech priest engines here does fall down. There's probably not where you want to see the guardsmen. Engaging in combat at the moment. You've got all these infantry structures and whatnot that you can take advantage of. One thing as well that people tend to forget about is that you can take one Tech Priest Engine Seer and stick them in a listening post or an infantry command. And you basically just quadruple the amount of damage it can do. Or maybe not quadruple. I'm not exactly sure on the maths. But something like that. Anyway, while that's going on, Command Squad going back into the Eldar base, going to be punching this plasma generator. Burns are going to try and do what it can to keep it alive, but will be brushed off. Although Command Squad losing its main commander. Destroying that plasma generator there. Guardsman now being pushed backwards. Commissar sadly must have been rallied somewhere, as he is now once again in a bad situation. Will one there we go, get him in that listing purse where it's safe and sound firing point blank into that Barsia's face bless her, she can't quite get in there, it's not save a private Ryan with the flamethrowers or anything gonna get that upgraded Commons are jumping out of this side from this listing post, I do believe uh, 86 and 10 compared to 80 and 20 
Another, far, another Kam Kamazar being taken down by the Mind War. Wonderful attention to detail by Ethereal here. Well, I doubt that these guys will be able to take on this listing first. Maybe a little bit of potential for them, um, I would want to say. But overextending here. More explode a bit. Gonna go down over there. Tech Priest Dennis here trying to keep this building alive but has been taken out. This is a lot of dead Eldar at the moment, but it does look like they will be able to get this listing post. Although well, again, double Tech Priest Engine Seers. One taken down, no one gonna keep there. And yes, this does, this does seem like a, a poor trade from the Eldar perspective. Will be forced back. Gonna take this relic, but maybe not wanting to take a relic when you've got a whole squadron, a whole platoon. A very angry, very xenophobic human beings making their way towards you. Heavy Vortex have been placed behind the fast here, trying to catch her out, but not quite getting there. Gonna see a second squad of Dark Reapers moving down. <coughs> Pardon me. Guardian's been taken out there. Another Commissar. This is not a Commissar from the game. But yeah, even, even the Dark Reapers aren't so sure they're able to fend off all these men just yet. Will they pop it down the Soul Shrine? Quite hard to tech off, well, te sorry, tech up on the back of a engagement like this, but he has managed to start at the very least. Grand Sword doing what they can against these Dark Reapers. Morale being broken. Mind War once again being used in one of those Tech Priest engines here as his heavy bottle turret is being attempted to be put up. Feeling the glow of the Emperor through the Psyker's lightning bolts. One Guardian model does go down. And the Eldar are looking very fragile at the moment. Do you believe yet yeah, the Farseer has gone down? Gonna go for a Rift turn. But yeah, build, going into tier 2 while all this is going on, unless they've got a very specific plan, maybe get some fire dragons take on that heavy bottle turret, maybe get some... Oh, I always forget the Eldar Transport's name. The jumpy... not the prism one, but the other one. Nope. Memory is not serving me here, but you, you know the one I mean. You know exactly the one I mean. Anyway, Listing Shrine going down here, being absolutely wiped out. Soul Shrine has been fixed there. War Gear Enhanced Optics. Which will increase the general goodness of these Dark Reapers. Imperial Guard have also gone for Tier 2. They're going for a Mechanized Command. Fixing it firmly in this heavy cover. Not sure about its placement, to be honest. Because if you've got some Eldar coming in to assault it, they can sit inside this heavy cover while just firing away, so if you've got Guardsmen jumping inside, providing firing support, not sure if it's the best plan, but I assume there is a reason for it being here. Anyway, Fire, Sto uh, Fire Dragon Stone add-on being done up. Got a support platform. Bone Singers are going to move in there. I've got their Rave Tome ability, so they will be able to freeze it. I do believe it's finished researching. There we go. Managed to freeze it, so they will be able to start firing away at it. Commoners are inspiring the men through bloodlust. Taking down a couple of guardsmen. In fact, a lot, a lot of guardsmen. Once that enhanced optics goes online, their damage potential is so much more increased. 68 and 20, compared to 110 and 30, as a Chimera enters the battlefield. Pardon me. While that's going on, the command squad over here has taken down a listing shrine. Gone for that one of their upgrades where they're able to get an extra lad in the squad. By the looks of things. Fire Dragon looking hungrily at that Chimera, but ready to cook it to cook it up. No tactical control for the Imperial Guard at the moment. So I assume they're gonna be relying a lot more on their elite units, on their heroes as well. Saving that green money for the Chimeras. Gonna try and recruit another priest as these Dark Reapers keep these guys at bay. But a Chimera moving around the flanks, 
going to try and isolate this Dark Reaper squad. And this is a heck of a lot of Guardsmen. And yeah, they're, they're going to they're gonna get a full squad wipe if these Dark Reapers don't do anything about it. Fire Dragon is now moving around the side. Will the Santa focus on this Chimera? Another Dark Reaper squad as well going to be helping out. For the good times, for the bad times. Dark Reaper's still in a very fragile situation at the moment. Listening Shrine looks like it's about to go down. But Command Squad will turn his attention to the Dark Reapers. Zapping one down. Fire Dragons with no vehicle or building to fight will just engage in close combat. Not exactly where they want to be, but a really good use for them when they've got no primary target. Harlequin now out, dancing away. Going to see what she could do. Just kicking these boys all about. Going to be jumping into the listing first, but it's not going to be the safest place in the world now that the Fire Dragons are out and about. Get all the guardsmen hiding inside. But these Fire Dragons, they will huff and they will puff and they will blow their house down should the guardsmen not let them pass. Heavy bottle to Obia going to be upgraded with a missile to it. Got some Basilisks on the way. Heavy weapons team as well here to protect from any advancing Eldari. But yeah, Basilisk, I mean, long range support. Quite weak against the Fire Dragons, but the Fire Dragons will have to find out where it's coming from. My devotion is assured. Although if you pay attention, you can kind of see where the bullets are. Bullets? Shells? Yeah, the shells. Where the shells are coming from? But the Eldar have managed to get a little bit of their own back. They have taken down two strategic points. And one singular Chad Priest moving in. Starting to do a little bit of DIY. But will be chased off by a support platform. As well as the upgraded Listing Shrine. Basilisk is throwing out a couple of casual shots. And kill machine spirit for our safe. Gotta see if it can bend off these burn singers. Got double bolted to us down here. I was gonna go for an improved power grid research. Is his will so I'm expecting some more emphasis on the vehicles here. Falcon grab tank, that's what it was called. Gonna jump straight in. Get a look around the side. Gonna drop a Harlequin in the middle of the engagement. Taking down one heavy weapons team. Looks like they lost go for another. Man squad gonna do some well, looks like they're about to do some zapping. Probably will do a cast machines for it. If they are, oh, they might not even have that. They might need a tactical control for that. Maybe, he thinks. Well, if we see it, we see it. If we don't, we don't. Fire dragons looks like they've been taken care of. Have they been taken care of? Ah, they will be getting another one though. So that is something. Rail being broken on all sides of the field. One stalwart band of Dark Reapers there. Both these heavy bottle turrets have been spaffed on, shall we say, by the Wraith Burn of the Burn Singers. Guys, we were keeping themselves safe with Soundbite. Chilling out in the Mechanized Command. Basilisk, some short ranged firing at these Dark Reapers. Fire Dragons, a fresh batch of them jumping in. There we go, that looks like a... Cares the Machines bit, but it looked like it was done mid-air. So we'll just chill there, narrowly surviving. Fire Dragons, cooking up this Basilisk. <coughs> oh, pardon me. But the Eldar does seem to have been pushed back once more. Fire Dragon's trying to stay around for this Basilisk. But the Basilisk is being repaired. And dear oh dear, they will lose another Fire Dragon squad. We'll be starting to swap it up and go for some Warp Spiders instead. All right, men. Another Harlequin on her way out. Battle Grab Tank jumping away again, only to be zapped once more. Chimera's two of them. One patch of boys, one rather hollow. Guys are gonna try to do what they can, but realistically, that's not the one they want to focus on. They want to go for this slightly more vulnerable target. 
Gonna go for tier three. Anyone? Anyone feeling tier three? Doesn't look like it at the moment. We do have a support platform. No, support portal. Online at the moment. Ooh, good lord, that support platform there. It certainly looks like it does. The business. But yeah, Jesus Christ, doing half damage on the Chimera in one. One explosion, one direct hit, that's all it needs. Falcon Grab Tank, still looking a bit blue. That's quite a long stun, if you don't mind me saying so. Uh, there we go, Tech Priest Dungeons here, and a tier 3 going for the Imperial Guard. Looks like they're just going to turtle up around here, and wait for enough to get the killing strike. I mean, they've got enough to move in and do a bit of damage, but wherever they've got enough to outright wipe out the Eldar is not entirely seen. Ah, oh, is it not for us? Is, has it just got blue lights on it for no reason? Oh, maybe it's like a bug and the... I don't know. My brain's not working. As That's my wish, excuse. So the brain's not on. Another Basilisk on the way out. Willing, Minefield being popped down. From here on, we Pearl Guard changing tact and going around here instead. Double Solar Priests. Gonna... Turn this listing shrine into a not listing shrine anymore. On the count of it being dead. Fire dragons, as well as some vipers. And Falcon Grab Tank. All 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 the gubbins moved over on this side. They've seen the ga the Pale Guard being weak on this side, so they plan to take out these basilisks as and when they can, but while it's going on, Pale Guard are going to move in, destroying two listing posts, 115 and 79, compared to 77 and 40. The economic advantage is certainly in the Imperial Guard's favour. Aspect Portal been whistled down to chips and shards. Guardians, oh sorry, not Guardians, the Eldar is not really all that concerned. Looks like he's going to try and take out his Mechanized Command before responding. Won't win in a base race against the, guard, against the Guardsmen at the moment. I mean, they've got so much... Actually, hold on, they've got Infantry Command, Field Command. Now they're going to go for a Tactical Control. God save the Emperor ability will keep these guys fighting fit as they take down the Soul Shrine as well, rendering the Eldar back into their Tier 1. Aspect Portal has been taken down, but we do have some very deadly Dark Reapers. Gonna absolutely wipe out these Guardsmen. And they've got no real defense for them as they've, got, as they've lost their uh, Chimera. Another Plasma Generator gonna go down. Will allow these Dark Reapers to... Did Dark Reapers to reinforce? Oh no, they're gonna probably transition towards some vehicle play, I imagine. Command squad over here. Yeah, in fact, actually, holy heck, it's a full-blown army wipe from the perspective of the Imperial Guard. So, yeah, I, I, I was absolutely convinced that the Imperial Guard were about to win then, but no, the, uh, it's still all to play for here as the Viper moves over on this side as well as the Balkan Grab Tank. Everyone just trying to recapture what they've lost. Maybe now is the time to strike or at least maintain the upper hand. Bone Singer's over here trying to build up a webway gate. Harlequin once again looking like she's going to jump into combat. Possibly. Probably want to, although will be zapped. And then deaded in the face. Fire Dragons over here being zapped and trying to capture this relic. Not sure, if, again, not sure if that's the way that they want to go. They're trying to jump into the webway. Viper over yonder and a Harlequin doing what they can. Tactical control, going for some Kaskin armor. So these Kaskins do seem to be the, or the apparent lich pin that the that Erin Beast is looking to use towards victory. Although Kaimira moving straight in towards these fire dragons and a support platform will be absolutely annihilated straight away. And these Kaskins surrounded by Dark Reapers will be taken care of very very quickly. Being knocked backwards and forwards by a fresh Harlequin. Command Squad once again moving in. See what they can do while it's going on. Some Gossam Ergrins. Replete with a priest. Gonna slap around this Harlequin. There's a scrum that no 
dainty Eldar would like to get involved in has been very quickly sliced open. But she's not giving up just yet. She's going to chill around around that. They're going to try and take up that, uh, that Viper by the looks of things. Falcon Grab Tank probably got its Dark Reapers in there. Not sure what it's going to go for now. There's a Warp Spiders on the way. More Basilisks being replenished. The second one being constructed in the mechanised pattern. Gaskin's <laughs> still alive somehow. Throwing down a grenade or two. But will be chased off. Ogrins moving around the side, trying to do a flanking manoeuvre. But these Dark Reapers are not something uh, that are so easily flanked. Rayflod now are on the way as the Basilisk fire their long range support. More priests on the way. It's very much a scrum. A very scrappy game. Not a clean victory for either player, whoever will take it. But it's even Stevens at the moment, I would say. 118 and 49. 99 and 76. So not bad economies in the grand scheme of things. Ogrins being kept alive by their priest. Charging in. Trying to bother and pester these fire dragons. Over on this side we do see some Cassigans aiming at the Wraith Lord. Probably not where they want to be. They want to be down here trying to keep these fire dragons from causing all sorts of mischief and mayhem. Mystic Post over here once again being destroyed and whatnot. Viper and Wraith Lord flanked by two Burn Singers but these Basilisk will take him out. Gonna go for a Sentinel as well. Not sure what, what the idea of the these fire dragons are. They're kind of going on a bit of a journey. Have the Dark Reapers been... Not sure the Dark... Have the Dark Reapers been killed? Oh no, they're still in there. We've also got double Warp Spiders. These Warp Spiders are really going to turn the tide, I reckon, for the Eldar player. Be able to jump straight on top of these Castigans and absolutely wipe them out as quick as you like. Well, they have gone for the Castigan armor, so they're very, very tanky. Certainly a little bit more so with the addition of their priest. But yeah, once, once that ability goes up, the Wasp Spider should really teleport away. Especially with these Ogrins moving forward. And they do a fairly good amount of damage when on the charge as well. When they're on the way engaging and firing their Ripper guns. Still 65 to 85. Nothing to sniff at. More Warp Spiders teleporting in, getting that good flank. One of those guys having access to the heavy cover. And now with triple Warp Spiders. Ethereal there. Throwing out the GG as he's losing out all his elite mods. I'm sorry, elite units to the... Wombo combat of the Burgrin. Burgrin? Ogrin and Cassigans. Also, that constant firing support from the Basilisks. Certainly doing damage over time and adding to their victory. But he's throwing out the, the GG and he is going to surrender. So, yeah, uh, but thank you ever so much for joining us. If you want to support the channel, please do consider joining the old Patreon. One pound a month does get you one extra game a week and all that jazz. My name's been Mr. Lanshark. Pleasure as always, never chop. And I will see you in a bit. Peace.